This video shows how to properly install a spray jet off the ground. To do this, you're going to need a rigid riser holding stake and a rigid riser. The rigid riser holding stake has a slot on the side that you're going to push the rigid riser in. Once pushed into the slot, the rigid riser is securely fastened into the rigid riser holding stake. Rigid risers come in various lengths ranging from 6 to 18 inches. Remember the further off the ground a spray jet is, the larger the coverage area. There are two ways to incorporate a rigid riser setup into your drip irrigation system. First, you could create a quarter inch hole in your half inch tubing and then push the quarter inch barbed end directly into your half inch tubing. This works well if your half inch tubing is near the plants that you wish to water. If your plants are further away from your half inch tubing or you would like flexibility with your system, create a quarter inch hole in your half inch tubing. Once the hole is created, then you're going to need a quarter inch barb connector. One end of the barb connector is going to be pushed into the run of quarter inch tubing. The other end of the barb connector is going to be pushed into the quarter inch hole that was created in your half inch tubing. Once this is complete, the next step is to attach the quarter inch tubing to the rigid riser. To do this, push the free end of the quarter inch microtubing over the quarter inch barb of the rigid riser. Once complete, you can now push the rigid riser holding stake into the ground where you would like to anchor it down at. The last step in the assembly is to screw the spray jet into the top of the rigid riser. Now you have successfully installed a rigid riser spray jet setup. 